June in 2022, and we're with the Republican Assembly Orlando chapter. Yep. It's been a great Constitution Day for sheriffs, and that's well, the whole theme. Yeah. Had some great guests, and our next guest is a candidate running in the U.S. House District 6 here in Florida. His name is Charles E. Davis. Welcome to the Conservative Commander Radio Show. Thank you very much. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love your information. You yeah, want to so pass sticky. out to we the people, it. the voters. Absolutely. And you are America first in theme and, and in, in heart. Talk about that. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to be selfish, but, um, you know, they talked about something in there. Everything starts behind the front door. But um, we need to basically get our constitution restored so that we can have a republic back. Right, um, right. As they talked about freedom of speech, they talked about the right to bear arms, they tried to interfere with that. I mean, we can continue to go down. There's 27 amendments. Um, I have those on charlesdavis.com. And you can look okay. them up, and they're simply spelled out. Uh, there's the Fourth Amendment. There's several amendments that everybody needs, and they, these amendments need to be enforced. Okay. Um, my issues are, number one, restoring the Constitution. Number two, it's the three E's. It's make education great again, energy efficiency, and the economy. Under the last administration, we did a very, very good job. And basically, with a stroke of the pen, this man has turned it into where we, the people, are paying for everything that we shouldn't get. That's true. And uh, right. also, there's something that we need to do. There's over 33 million people that have came into our country because we haven't finished a wall, which has already been paid for. Not only has it been paid for, but all of the equipment is there and all we need to do is finish it and that could stop 33 million immigrants and we do not know where they're coming from where they're going to uh, what they are or how dangerous they could be to our society uh, I do believe in immigration I do believe that uh, that sometimes everybody came here from a different country but I do believe that we need to follow the path and I'm glad to see that the Supreme Court stuck with that and said that basically we are going to enforce any of these people that have came across our border illegally they will have to go outside and start the paperwork just as everybody else has done um, there's another one that we need to talk about and that's health care uh, health care has really really got out of um, control the the health care that we have today uh, with the AMA and all the different people that are controlling it we all know we're not getting real health care we know that Fossey uh, is dealing with basically um, I mean hey it's out there folks look at the internet I mean basically what you put in your body we shouldn't put in our body we should look at what we put in our body before we put it in our body I do believe we all have the free will to pick and choose that we want to take the vax but I do believe that if I walked through a desert and I was getting ready to have a glass of water, I'd ask the people, what's in the glass of water before I drank it, no matter how thirsty I was. So that's something that needs to be taken care of. And then what happens is we, the people, we need Donald Trump, really. Uh, we need to take the house and we need to take the house to where basically everybody's on the same page to follow the orders of what Donald Trump has planned. We know we all have um, our position in life and what we need to do. Like I said, I'm not a politician. There's only one reason why I'm running. I'm running because I'm tired of we the people not being respected when we're the only country that has ran from the bottom up as we the people. We are the only people that can change it. We the people need to be informed and it's very, very important for us all to stick together in this race and all the Republicans to stay strong, all the Republicans to share what they can share with each other and everybody. And we all need to get out of there because they're called influential votes and we need everybody to get out and vote. I can tell you right now, Alabama just had their vote last week turnout and it was 18% turnout. Folks, this is probably one of the biggest chances of us to take back our country. And if we don't do it now, ouch. I don't know I don't know where we're gonna go, but I can say one thing. People get out there and vote. Bring your driver's license because you wouldn't go to the bank and cash a check without a driver's license. So we do believe in that. 
And um, if you got to, and if you can, put it on a paper ballot and take the paper da ballot down to voter elections, and then that way you can be assured that nothing happens to your vote. So, folks, uh, God bless America, and I appreciate your time, sir. I appreciate your time, man. And if you have any questions for me, I'm more than glad to answer them at this time. That's great. I like where you talk about eliminate human trafficking because that's a special concern of, of my wife. Right. Go ahead and talk a little bit about that because that is a scourge. Um, human trafficking, for those people that don't know, there's a, a term referred to as the deep state. Uh, there's a lot more going on. I don't want to be a conspiracist. So what I'll say is I'll say based on the information that I've gotten, um, organs, are being trafficked in yeah. they're selling organs they're taking yeah. organs out of dead people yeah. uh, we've heard stories such as um, human trafficking as far as all different countries that are coming in here yeah. they've been human trafficking the whole time while we've been doing this without the law being fixed they've been doing that and they don't realize that uh, the worst thing about human trafficking though is that i don't know how to put it other than there's no justice for all. And when you come to America, you don't come to America. Uh, America's free. So human trafficking is something that we need to we need to just not tolerate. I mean, it needs to be it needs to be stopped at the borders. Uh, we need to get people more. If we need LELs, law enforcement officers, if we need some type some type of bill passed through Congress or whatever, it should be on a top priority list about human trafficking. I mean, it's a big thing. There's a lot of kids right now that are coming into this country right now without a parent. That's right. 13, 14, 15 year old girls, and I have daughters and five more nieces. And let me tell you what. Uh-uh, 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 and what they're doing is they're abusing them. Um, folks, I would really, really say for anybody that's concerned about human trafficking, it's probably one of the biggest concerns that we have, and I do know that Donald Trump stands firm behind stopping human trafficking. Absolutely. Because that's related to drug overdose and fentanyl and these illicit drugs coming to our country. Uh, that's 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 also another thing that we need to finish the wall. A lot of those drugs are coming through there. You know, we touch, we touched on this. That you know, we would think that these drugs that are coming into California or coming into Texas or coming into Arizona or coming into Florida. Well, you know, we just found out that they made them all the way up into Ohio, and that's one of the largest death rates right now from that kind of drug. So you know, these people are not moving around. I mean, they got they are. <laughs> I don't want to say George Soros people, but I just want to say that uh, they're, um, they're with the establishment. It's a bad thing. It's not good for people. But worst of all, it's not, it's not human. It's, 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 it, you're not treating people like humans. And I'll tell you what, we have a heart. And in um, our country, the United States of America, we run under common law. We don't run under corporate law. So what we need to do is we need to enforce all our laws. And we need to get judges to enforce all our laws and we need to get people that stand up to the deep state and the establishment and are willing to stick their neck out there have the courage have the guts have the stamina because i trust me when i got into this they asked me if i was ready for a battle i said yeah then they asked me if i was ready for a war and i said yeah then they asked me if i was ready to be called every name in the book and i said yeah well let me tell you what it's the way it is, but I'll tell you what, right. to keep my country free, we will do what we need to do, and in order to stop everything that, well, I'm just going to say it real, real, real simple. It's an evil versus good out there right now. It's dark versus light, and we need to understand it. And human trafficking, all we can say is we can say, look it up, and I think you'll find out that there's a lot of people that are in politics that have something to do with human trafficking. I think they'll find out that Mr. Epstein uh, Mr. was a good friend of uh, Mr. Clinton's. Um, we, all, we, all, we all know what's going on. I mean, right. folks, do your homework. Take a look. Uh, no matter what you got to go to. Come to their talk radio. Listen to their radio stations. Listen to other people. But keep your mind open a mind open and you're alert and uh most of all uh, you know it says one thing in the bible and it says protect your heart 
above all. Yeah, and uh, this is what we, what we really, really, really need to do. That's we right. need to all treat each other like we're human, but at the same time, we need to be a domestic group right now and take care of America first and give the rest of the money to other people later. Hey, right. how can our viewers support your campaign? Yeah. U.S. House District 6 right here in Florida. What, do you have a website? Absolutely. Charles e davis.com and also uh, i simplified the 27 amendments to where um, anybody could read them uh, but if you want to get into detail i mean i have a huge book or if anybody has any questions they can feel free to call me or send me information i'm more than glad to uh, answer that uh, okay. there's one big thing that i stood on and that was the constitution so i think everybody should learn the constitution right now that's the most important thing uh, you will see on there that 1 through 27 is on there, and it gives basically just the regular individual that's just trying to say, hey, what is it, you know, like on the Fourth Amendment, instead of right. saying, you know, search and seizure and, you know, right. probable cause right. and uh, you're innocent until proven guilty. Um, I've explained how that works, and I said basically you're innocent until proven guilty. And what do I mean by that? Yeah. What I mean by that is according to our constitutional rights, we all are equal. And so when we go to court, we're not supposed to be guilty until we're proven guilty. But yet when they send us a document in the mail, they send us a document and it's in capital letters and that would basically be corporate law. We're not a country of corporate law, we're a country of common law. But let's put that aside for a minute. Let's just say that the, that the, the, that the, the person that they've been allegedly accused of doing whatever they've done is accused of this, but he's got to work on defending himself from the time he starts. So would we say that that person's, that person's Fourth Amendment has been violated? I would say so. Absolutely. Will we say that there are other um, Constitution amendments that have been violated? There are. So we need to all pay attention. There's the Tenth Amendment that it can basically tell you, if you read the Tenth Amendment, you can learn how they can keep our state they can keep the federal people out of our state right now. Right. As we all know, you know, um, Florida has a, has a large surplus, I mean, in the billions. Uh, we won't even get to a number, but I believe it's somewhere over $8 billion. And uh, we got a great, 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 great governor. Governor DeSantis has basically stood up, yeah. uh, fought the fight. Um, I mean, all I can say is I can say my hat's off to Governor DeSantis. God bless you. God bless your family. We're glad that you're uh, right wife's cancer free now yeah. and uh we are glad to see that you're out there on the trail and we're glad to see that you're working with um, a lot of several smart people and bringing in um people that are very very intelligent uh litigators uh doctors surgeon generals yeah. whatever we need to do to keep us from not being masked we all know that the covid virus if you do your homework it's man-made and you know right now i have not taken the jab and i I'm still here. And you know what? God gave us all a strong immune system. And if we would pay attention and maybe just read that book a little bit, it's kind of like, where'd the Constitution come from? Well, the Constitution started out with just 10 Bill of Rights. And then all of a sudden, they said, we're going to turn it into the Constitution. They added it. And there was that. Where'd that Bill of Rights come from? Well, there was the five articles. And then where did the five articles come from? Well, there's a book called the Bible. So we the people... Um, have a free will to do what we want to do yeah. and what we need to do is we need to do the right thing we need to put America first yeah. we need to put our Constitution back into where it's enforced we need to take our Republic back to where we the people are running the government and we know Donald Trump when he was the president we know that he let us for the first time ever we the people actually we ran the country and it was sure was great everybody in the world I mean they were blown away did we have any problems with these guys coming at us did we have any problems with different countries coming at us did we have any threats did we have any no they didn't why didn't they have that because mr. Donald Trump basically let them know hey um, I'm gonna call up the head guy and let him know what his house looks like and when the guy says well why are you calling me showing me a picture of what my house looks like because that's the first place he's gonna take out he's through strength and we're coming against a heartbreak yeah, Charles and Davis but thank you for your passion absolutely yes. we the people Florida Congressional District Number Six, U.S. House. Yes. Right. Thank you again. God bless. Thank you God very, bless. very much.